Bass Geek here. And my birthday is April 9th, but I'm going to give you all a present. Let's check it out. That's right, geeks. It is April. It is my birth month. But all that being said, we'll get to uh, what I was talking about at the beginning of the video here in just a second. First off, I want to talk to you guys about a swim bait that you might not have heard of. It's super durable. It's super cool. It's got some great action. I'll show you. And above all, you can catch 30 fish on it and it will never tear. And it's one of my favorite things to be throwing right now. But first, let's look at the April Bass Geek Box. Hey, let's check out this month's Bass Geek Box, which by the way, is sponsored by Nico Baits. This month we're sponsored by Nico Baits. Hey guys, I hope you guys like this. I've had several companies over the past year that have started doing the Bass Geek Box reach out to me and want to be in the box, right? So like send you guys some of their baits. It helps the companies out and it helps me out a little bit too. I just hope you guys like it. Make sure you tell me. We're not gonna do every single one of them that way, don't worry. But you know, these sort of company specific, especially maybe some companies you guys haven't seen or heard from a whole lot, uh, Bass Geek boxes. I think it's fun, but let's jump into this one. Now, since I already showed you this one, let's look at this bad boy. Now you wanna talk about a realistic claw, crawl bait. Look at that right there. This is the Nico Crawl Magma Crawl. That's pretty bad. Next up is a killer bait. It's a Ned style worm, but it's got some girth to it. You guys know I love it, man. Check this thing out. This is the Super Ned, the Zaza Super Ned from Nico. Check that out. I love this color. It's called Lunar. That is a color that you haven't seen anywhere else, I promise. Next up is, of course, and this is a limited edition. This is the Zaza Leech. This is in Black Aurora, another really cool color. Great flat bait, I guarantee would look great on a drop shot. Another bait that's gonna look incredible on a drop shot is the Tadpoles. This is called the Mud Bug. Look at that. Early spring, man, early spring. This bait right here, another great looking drop shot style bait. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna try my best, the Iconego Minnow. Look at that thing. That is sick right there. You may not get these guys. I may keep them for myself. I ain't gonna lie. All right, check this out. Now you got some Helgramites in two different sizes. This is a limited edition color. This is Dark Passion. Great, great on a Ned rig. And I'm gonna show you how I like to fish that. And then you've got the big boy. That's right. I love this. You can drop shot this. It's got a great flat side or you can take and put it on a shaky head or one of the longer Ned rigs, but I'm gonna show you something a little cool I like to do with this. Last but not least, guys, this is becoming one of my favorite little swim baits. And one of the reasons why, I'm gonna show you right here. This is one of my packs, one of the other colors that they make. They call this the Winnow 95, but all these baits are made out of that Elaztec style you know, material. So the great thing about these are, A, look at the ridges, and B, look at that. Super durable, but super soft with great action. Let's take a look at these in the water. So I'm not gonna use the one that I'm gonna give away to you guys in the box, but I am gonna use this. I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. Guys, <laughs> this head right here, I use for so many different things. So many different things. Now that's a 3 8 when I'm using floating plastic, I generally go up a size of what I would normally use so that I can get it down a little bit deeper. But this head right here from Angler Tungsten, you know, it doesn't have the screw lock. I love the Eclipse head, but on stuff like this, you really want more of that keeper right there, that Ned style keeper. And I'm gonna tell you, this plastic is tough. It is very, very tough. You wanna get it up on there, push it up on there. You can see it's, it does not want to go up over that keeper. And then you're just gonna pull on this. There you have it guys, it's up on there. Let's tie this on and I'll show you how I like to fish it. All right guys, so as always, y'all know the knot I like to tie, it's quick. It's quick, it's easy. So 
seven times through the loop at the top, wet it. It's just called the Pizzantine knot. And then you cut the tag in. So let's talk about rod reel line set up for this. Guys, you know I love my TFO professionals. Best bang for the buck out there. Seven foot medium, moderate fast action. You can see it right there, I think. One quarter to three quarters. Great little rod, and I'm telling you, it'll throw lighter than that pretty easily. Uh, I like to throw eight pound test on mine, and of course, that is always gonna be Pro 100 by K9, and my backing is gonna be the, uh, most of the time, the pink. I think I've got green on here. Uh, I haven't re-spooled the braid on this one yet, but it is my canine braid. Guys, the canine braid is the best braid on the market. If you don't believe me, just buy you a spool. There's a discount down in the uh, description below. Go buy a spool. Check it out. You're sure you're not going to be sorry if you're a braid guy. Throwing it on my Mach 1 Luz. And uh, let's talk about where we throw this thing and how I like to fish it. So one of the places I like to throw a swim bait this time of year is on flat banks. Now this don't look flat, but it flattens out as it gets down here. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just let it sit to the bottom. Now, if I'm using my forward facing sonar, I can see them up in the water column and I'll start targeting those fish. But if I'm not, then I'm just gonna slow roll this bait back to me and cover this entire flat. Something else I love to do with a swim bait this time of year is work these lay downs. You know, make sure you're using a light enough head a quarter, uh, you know, an eighth is great because you never know how tall they are. But I love to make sure that I'm casting out there. And again, you know, you don't have to have forward facing sonar, but I, you know, I love to give the tips for everyone and the ability to be able to see and actually see fish in that tree. Like I seen two on the, off the tip of it. I was right over top of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up a little bit and throw right off the tip. That tells me immediately that may be where the fish, where the bass are, is out on the deep ends of these trees, which for me, 23 feet deep. And we got a big one on the Nico. Smallmouth. Proof's in the pudding, boys. Right there, secondary points leading into spawning bays. There's two of them sitting there. I run it right by them. Got a, got a solid smallmouth. <laughs> he ate that angler tungsten Ned. Stick it on a winnow. Nico swim bait. There you go. Not a giant, but nice two, nine, two, eight, whatever. Man, is that not proof in the pudding? Nice little three pound small mouth there. All right, guys. So basically, how are you going to be entered to win? Hey, and stay tuned because the J Bros winner will be announced at the end of this video. Sorry about the trouble. And, and the long wait on who's going to win that box. And man, what a box of soft plastics. I mean, that'll set you up for maybe a couple years. All that being said, uh, and it's just, I haven't announced it yet because guys, I haven't put any videos out uh, that haven't kind of been out of my hands already. And uh, anyway, man, when you're on the road for five, six straight weeks, it's, it's hard to get stuff done. All that being said, to enter for the Nico box, Hashtag Nico down on the bottom. Hashtag N I K K O Nico. That's all it's got to take. That's all it's going to take to get you in. As always, make sure you go check out the Bass Geek Apparel. Hey, if you like a video and it's worth a dollar to you, you get a dollar's worth of uh, information out of it. Hit that thanks. Be a sponsor. You'll see you guys. Thank you, Bass Geek sponsors. At the end of this video too, we we'll give you a little shout out every uh, monthly box 
hope you guys like these sponsored boxes it's pretty cool to be able to get some of the other companies just to kind of highlight their products sponsor they just send some products in for me to give away to y'all that's all it means anyway questions comments in the comment section below make sure you enter hashtag nico to be entered to win like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications when the videos come out hashtag 100 watch squad best way to support the channel and as always you guys rock all right guys sorry about the long long wait but man what an incredible box of baits you all are going to get from j bros uh, again a big shout out to j bros for uh, hooking you all up with uh all this stuff I mean, it is going to be a massive box. Let's see. They change things on me again. Include replies, filter duplicates. Sometimes you guys don't get that right, exactly right. So I, um, I try to keep, you know. On a raffle. No, we don't want to remove from the list. Now, like I said, I always got a math. All right, 197 comments, unique comments. Let's see who won this awesome box. Sea Dog, Texas, J Bro. <clears throat> all right brother i'll leave a reply to your comment let you know and i will leave you my or sister whoever you might be uh and i will leave you <clears throat> my uh email address to reach out to me and uh we'll get that stuff sent out asap Congratulations.